We have a little different video for you today. This one deals with the AI washing of everything in, in IT, including workstations. Yes, it has VRAM, it must be AI, although... It may not even need VRAM if it yeah. just has like 41 tops, that's good enough for Copilot Plus, right? Yes. And so that's actually what we're dealing with today. We've got the HP ZBook Ultra 14-inch G1A. The little A stands for AMD, and that's this fella right here. It's the latest from the ZBook line, and is AMD throughout, actually, CPU and this sort of GPU-ish thing we're gonna talk about. Yeah, we've usually seen a lot of the uh, AMD CPUs paired up with NVIDIA GPUs. We've seen Intel CPUs in, uh, set up with uh, NVIDIA GPUs. Yeah. Although, or um, integrated, right? Yeah, this is a new take uh, where you can allocate memory on the fly between the CPU and GPU in a shared memory. It's similar to what uh, Apple does with the MacBook series. In development, this was known as the Strix Halo platform. We now know it as something the, more AI focused. Well, yeah, the Ryzen AI Max Plus. So in this system is the highest end of those CPUs, the 395, which has 16 cores, 32 threads, and then it's got this a kind of hybrid graphics thing. Yeah, it leverages the uh, Radeon 8060S 60, uh, 60 graphics. Right. And uh, depending on configuration, you have a DRAM, VRAM mix of up to 128 gigs, which... I guess it's all DRAM, but if you give some of it to the GPU, then it's pseudo VRAM? Well, it's... You can set it to auto, or you can do, I think, going from 512 uh, megabytes up to 96 gigabytes, dedicated right. specifically to the GPU, which kind of makes it VRAM. Right, and that's the hook. That one thing there, the dynamic allocation of RAM between the CPU complex and GPU is really what makes this, and not just the HP, but anything using these 300 Max Plus series uh, silicon, that's what makes it special. In the BIOS, you can adjust how much RAM you want for CPU and how much you want for GPU, and that's, on the surface, really, really cool. Yes. the. VRAM has been a huge impact for any AI models, and this platform, uh, specifically AMD and uh, HP, is leveraging it. HP and AMD is talking about, well, you can do things with uh, local LMs you haven't been able to do before, and that becomes problematic because this has the VRAM or DRAM that could fit the very large models, and that means you could fit a 70 billion parameter model on here, which... For a laptop, that's pretty darn good. Yes, although it may not actually be usable. So here's the problem. The, what was the punchline? They said, use LLMs on your workstation like never before or something like that. Yes, That's it's, the, it's the never been done like that before because it doesn't work. Well, it works. Not on this fast enough. Okay, that's the problem. The Copilot Plus drive by Microsoft is really the, the thing that got people thinking about NPUs in Windows to take advantage in, of AI, but Copilot Plus has been, I'm a Mac guy, but it's largely a dud, right? Well, it's, I think a lot of people have moved on towards, local AI has been taking on different shapes and you might have little like image generation apps or local text interfaces, but a lot of people are still leveraging the cloud services because you get so much more on the largest models, although for a little bit of money. So it depends on right. if you want local, if you want cloud, if you want really intensive local, but there's, there's a large range of what you can do for local AI. And I think that, can, that I think that makes a lot of people confused in terms of what you're getting from different platforms. Well, the goal was by Microsoft to make Copilot Plus erase all of that and say, look, it can whip zippity doo dah do all your AI things. All you need is 40 tops, and which is funny because they changed that during the development of yes. Copilot at first. And meanwhile, you have platforms that have a massive difference in price and you're really wondering like what you're getting for that money. Right, so it's getting confusing. You need 40 tops for Copilot Plus or so. Snapdragon came out. Listen, we looked at one of those systems, but maybe a year ago, they had 45 tops. It was all integrated and nice. And Windows on ARM was kind of... Pro that's was a, that's little, a problem. Yes. And now we've got 50 tops with this unit, and it's native x86, so Windows is happy. You got all your tops. And uh, now we can dynamically allocate the memory in the system, and this one's got 128, so it's very powerful in that regard, to our AI stack so we can run these large LLMs natively. Unfortunately, though, what we're seeing is a lot of marketing AI washing of systems and not the actual performance that, that you would expect. VRAM has been a huge selling point for different cards. Consumer cards generally really restricted, and especially on the budget cards. You're, 
you're down to like eight gigs of uh, VRAM on like a 5060. Sure. sure. Uh, and then you go to the workstation side, you get 48, you get 96 gigs of memory. That's where it starts to open up and people think, well, is the VRAM just- 96. Well, yes, like that would be, this thing is competing with an H100. We have an H100, we have H100 level, or what's the AMD equivalent? MI325 level GPU inside the system. But no, we really don't. And that's why we got all these systems out here because we want to show you when the marketing sort of uh, outpaces the reality of what's being delivered here. We've got five systems up on the table and we've got LLMs preloaded to go on all of these. Give a quick highlight on what we're looking at. So we're leveraging a Llama and we have the uh, Gemma 3 model with a four billion parameter uh, size. And we're just having, we have a little prompt of why are sloths slow? I mean, we love sloths. They're a part of- We love Yeah. But to give an idea of how these things fit, we have a uh, Lenovo uh, Intel based platform. This guy's around $1,200. A MacBook Air, this one's 849 at your local Micro Center. Ryzen 16 with a 5090. Yes, and that one, that one's practically affordable compared to this guy. We'll get to that. We have a ThinkPad from uh, 2021 with an A5000 GPU, but overall it gives you a pretty good uh, overview of what you're going to find from uh, performant integrated graphics up to dedicated graphics cards. In a and range of 850 to many, many, many thousands of dollars. Well, yes, and that is one of the key areas. By and large, though, this is one of the most expensive uh, notebooks on this table, and it actually tops out at almost $8,000 with a four terabyte SSD. Starting at like 2,400 with almost none of that allocatable uh, memory and the lower end of the CPU spectrum. Let's run it so we can quit kind of dancing around and show oh, people. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start the integrated graphics platforms first and then go to the uh, dedicated graphics systems. But when we press go makes no difference. They're all using the same model. They're all asking the same question. And if we think about what professionals are doing by harnessing these tools and using them in a private secure manner versus the online delivered versions, there's a lot of reasons why professionals would want to use these tools on a workstation. Well, yeah, and we've run into situations where building tables in a review or processing data from a uh, uh, the output side of a review, sometimes Absolutely. you could be rate limited with online services. And if you have a lot of components local, I mean, there are advantages to running things local that you don't necessarily have to do in person. And See, look, they all finished while we were talking. Most, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Still thinking? Yes, it, okay. it, was, it was wrapping up. Okay, so we've got five results now. What, what's the deal? Okay, so when we, uh, when we start with our dedicated graphics platforms, the fastest one here is the uh, 5090 Mobile, and it had a duration of around 12.9 seconds. Okay. The A5000 inside this ThinkPad, it finished in 14.1 seconds. Third fastest, though, is the really cheap MacBook Air. This guy finished in 23.3 uh, uh, seconds. Okay. And then the very expensive uh, platform here. Right. 31 seconds. And then you'd be thinking like, okay, well, a dedicated GPU is going to be faster than integrated graphics by a wide margin. You would think so. The Intel integrated graphics came in at 39 seconds. That's um, so, inferencing on CPU. Right. That's how slow this guy is. That's what's unfortunate. So that's part of the problem is that when you want to push it and when the marketing lead is, what was it, AI or LLMs like you've never experienced them before or something like that in a workstation? Yes. It's true, but not in the right way, not in the way that they intended it. Yes, and we are being truthful. You can fit some very large models on this with the amount oh, of VRAM, uh, VRAM system memory that's allocated, which you can get there, but Instead of the uh, tokens per second, you're talking about like fractions of, it's painfully slow. And you're looking at- Slow to the point where if you loaded a large model, asked a complicated question, it's not just go get a coffee, it's probably go get an Airbnb, spend the night and come back. Yeah, you're looking at very significant times, which it's, it kind of goes in the realm of, Yes, it's technically doing it, but no, it's not working well enough for you to want to use it. So why bother even making this video? Because if this thing is 1800, 2200 bucks in the thin and light category, we don't really care. No. Because otherwise the system's fantastic. ZBook design, let's not be confused, is phenomenal. Screen's great, buttons are great, feedback's great. 
overall build quality is great. Well, yeah, our problem comes when this system ranges to almost as expensive as the 5090 mobile platform to double the cost, or on the very top end configuration, this is eight thousand dollars. Yes, it's more expensive than the MacBook Pro 14 or 16 at their highest configurations. You can't make it more expensive than this. <laughs> you've done something when you've outpriced Apple on the high end. Yes, that is scary. Yes, yeah, so uh, the most expensive portable Mac you could buy, or eight MacBook Airs yes, and the, at and the, the high end. Well, and then the MacBook Air was faster. This little guy sub thousand dollars was faster for local AI. So look, we have a full review of this system, and I don't want to be so negative on it. There's plenty of CPU well, performance yeah. that's really nice in this platform. Local workstation performance is phenomenal on this, and its graphics uh, for rendering workloads are much better than integrated graphics. Our concern just, just comes the, down just to, price. well, it, well it's price, just, and then it's the AI performance claims, which get really difficult when you see how other platforms can fit, uh, how other platforms compare in this market space. So we're back then with a classic IT problem, whether it's server storage fabrics and AI systems behind us or portable workstations in front of us that a lot of vendors are going to market with claims that are more aggressive than the hardware and software combinations are ready to hold up to. In this case, it really falls flat and the pricing is just so out of whack on these systems. Even at the $4,000 promotion price, this system is wildly expensive compared to others that are out there. And the big fear is that as soon as NVIDIA starts shipping Blackwell in these workstations, this the relevance of this system goes to almost zero. Yeah, you have phenomenal performance mixed with an aggressive price point, and all of a sudden, I mean... Well, oh, I don't even know if it has to be aggressive. It'll, the performance will be good enough to justify the price in most cases, I think. We don't know yet. They're not yeah. released. So we'll have to see. So we've got a full review of this up on the website. That link will be in the comments. Um, do your own homework, though and make sure you understand what your workload is and what the capabilities are before you go investing many, many, many thousands of dollars in any platform.